Hey good people, welcome back to Frizz and Fragrance. My name is Kara, whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. I have been waiting to do this review and we're doing it. Today is all about Yara candy and I'm gonna be comparing this to the original. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video, let me know what you think and come on down the fragrance rabbit hole with me cause we smell good over here. We gonna smell good with these. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I'm well, I'm at my mom's house and uh, the benefit of having this little small camera is I can take it anywhere. Marky's in the background, say hi Marky. All right, and uh, let me know how you're doing in the comments section or the chat, whichever you prefer. And let's get this rodeo going. I was put on to Latafa fragrances probably earlier this year. And I have probably four or five of them. I haven't talked about them on this channel because I just started in April. So I did get my hands on the original Yara and then I have or had the Yara Tous, I believe. And that's the orange one, but I really didn't care for that. So I gave that to my mom. When I heard about Yara Candy, I knew I definitely wanted to try it. And I know there are some other Yara flankers, but those notes didn't really call to me. I think there's a Yara Mui, which is in a white bottle. And then I think there's a men's, but so far I'm really enjoying the OG Yara and seeing the notes in the candy. I just felt like this was going to be a good deal along with the price. So I did purchase both of these from Amazon. Hey friends, as I'm editing this, I made a mistake. I got the Yara original from Amazon and the Flanker Yara candy. I did purchase that from the Latafa site and I think it was $49 and it was free shipping and it was delivered very, very quickly. So I was really happy with shopping from that site in case there's anything that you wanna purchase from that site, it was no issues at all. I want to say 49 bucks, something like that. Let's just revisit the original Yara and the notes, and then we'll get into the new one. And I will tell you, does the Yara candy have the same DNA as the OG and what I think about it. So the original Yara was released in 2020 and it is an amber vanilla fragrance. The top notes are orchid, heliotrope, and tangerine. The middle notes are gourmand accord, tropical fruits, and then the base notes are vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. Now, Yara Candy was released in 2024, and this one is categorized as a floral fruity gourmand fragrance. We have top notes of black currant, green tangerine, middle notes of strawberry fizz, candy, and gardenia. Oh, strawberry fizz candy and gardenia and then base notes of vanilla amber musk and sandalwood i'm just going to see if there's any similarities in the notes real fast it looks like the only notes that are similar are vanilla musk and sandalwood so everything else is different so i'm expecting for yara to have the same dna as far as the base notes but a vanilla musky sandalwood uh, smell in the base. Just double checking. Now, the other note that is the same is the tangerine, except the Yara candy has a green tangerine and the original Yara has tangerine. All right, those are the overlaps. Let's get to smelling. I'm just gonna go ahead and give Yara a spray. Oh, this smells so good. So I definitely agree that this is an ambery vanilla fragrance. Mm, this smells so good. There's definitely a fruity smell. I don't think it overtakes the fragrance, but you definitely get that, oh my gosh, that vanilla in there. <sighs> this smells so good. Mm. I might've said, just to double check on the notes, I might've said that the original Yara had the amber in it, but it doesn't. The base is vanilla musk and sandalwood. The amber is gonna be in the candy. Overall, I think this fragrance, is a great blind buy, in my opinion, especially if you like ambery vanilla scents that are gourmand. Now, this is gourmand, but it's not like crumb couture where you're smelling like a croissant or a biscuit. I don't know, I would wear this one any time of year. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what's in the gourmand accord, but whatever it is, it smells great. There is some floral there, but it's not too floral because I don't like my fragrances to be overly floral. And I really don't get that tangerine at all. So what I really smell are the middle notes of the gourmand and tropical fruits, and then the vanilla musk and sandalwood. 
It's a very feminine leaning fragrance. I wore it last night to bed just to uh, refresh my memory. Could still smell it when I got up. It's strong, but it's not overbearing. It's a standout fragrance for me. I really like it a lot. So I was really pleased to hear about Yara Candy. So let's go ahead and give that one a spray. And you can't really beat 100 mLs for $49, $50. I know the price changes sometimes on Amazon. I think Candy might be in the $50 range right now. So Yara Candy is fruitier. Is something that I don't have to hunt for. That strawberry fizz candy smell is there. The tangerine is there. I still have trouble picking out black currant. So let me know how you would describe black currant in a fragrance because I am still learning. But green tangerine, I, I can't tell the difference between a green tangerine or an orange tangerine, but there's tangerine there, whereas I don't smell it as much in the original Yara. The strawberry is there. Whether it's a strawberry fruit or a strawberry fizz candy, it does not matter to me. I cannot tell the difference. There's a strawberry note in there. I do not smell gardenia. Sometimes I feel like gardenia has a, a funky kind of smell sometimes when I've smelled it, like when I have smelled the actual gardenia flower. So I am glad, I'm not sure how that uh, stands out in a perfume, but I'm glad that I'm not really getting much of that floral note. And the base notes of amber, musk, and sandalwood are there. I don't feel like the sandalwood is super strong in the regular Yara or the Yara candy. And I'm not really smelling uh, what would be amber. What I think is odd is that Yara, the original, is considered an amber vanilla fragrance, but there's no amber in it. Yara candy is considered fruity floral, but there is amber in this one. So... I'm not sure. Let me just double check another site to I just for accuracy. Ooh, on Joma Shop, Yara is $27.99. That's great. They said the original price is $82, and I did not pay that. I definitely paid like $40 or maybe even $30. I don't know. Yep, base notes, vanilla sandalwood and musk. It's an amber vanilla fragrance, gourmand accord, tropical fruits, heliotrope, orchid, and tangerine. So no uh, amber in the original Yara. Now, I do think these fragrances share a similar DNA, but I don't think if I knew, I wouldn't be like, oh, this smells like Yara. I'm not sure if I would make that connection. They're different enough that you can have both. And the Yara in the orange bottle is different from both of these as well. So just to recap, the similarities in these two fragrances are vanilla, musk, sandalwood, and tangerine. Yara candy has green tangerine. The original Yara has tangerine. And then you get the fruitiness of the strawberry candy in this one. As far as florals, the candy has the gardenia in it, which I am not smelling at all, thankfully. And the original Yara has orchid and heliotrope. I think that if you like the original Yara, you will absolutely love Yara Candy. And this one, I think, does give more of a summery vibe, but I can see myself wearing this all year long and I can see myself wearing them together. I've worn this one already a couple of times. I just brought this out, so I'm gonna leave it upstairs so that I can wear it a little more often. But all in all, I think these are safe blind buys and they're both worth having, especially for the price point and how much fragrance you get for that price. Hi, oh, yeah. oh, I love you. Uh, You're leaving? You're leaving right now? Yeah. I'm getting ready to come down then. Let me close out the video. Let me know your thoughts if you purchased Yara. I know some of you are waiting on my thoughts and after having this for about a week, I can say I'm really happy to have it. If this costs more than $50, I'm sure I would have paid for it, but I'm really trying to uh, scale back on how much I'm paying for things. So I'm so glad that somebody put me onto these Middle Eastern fragrances because I think they're just as good as designers. So those are my thoughts on Yara and Yara Candy. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.